Are you tired of having nothing to do with your old braid outs? Well, fear no more, because here I am to show you how to get fucking fabulous. Yeah, you see it? Let's get into this video. First, I start with spraying my edges with some water so that all the products that I'm going to be applying are nice and, you know what I'm saying, accepted to my strands. Um, then I take some Eco Styler Gel, as you guys see, and I put a generous amount on my edges. Then I take some grapeseed oil to put over the Eco Styler Gel just so that it doesn't leave the white cast and also so that it can turn more into a moisturizing substance rather than super drying. And as you see, I brush it. Now this step is a little bit different than what some people do. I use a bandana to do my puffs because I feel like it just kind of smooths my hair up really nicely. All right, y'all, so with the edges, there's really no way I can even direct you on how to do it. It's truly something you just kind of have to play around with and um, see where it takes you because as you can see, I don't really know what I'm even doing. Like it's just has kind of it's just kind of like a routine that I've developed like from practice. So if you want your edges to be super dramatic, I guess one thing that I could definitely recommend is make sure you brush out some of your hair so that you can have those longer pieces. Me personally, my baby hair isn't like the longest, so I kind of have to like use some of my edges edges, like the very edge of it. I don't want it to be super duper long because I still want it to have a kind of baby hairish effect. But um, yeah, just I would definitely just suggest pulling it out some and just twirling it around. Um, definitely using your fingers to help shape the curl uh, or the swirl, I should say. Um, and yeah, just play around with it. This is not even the best that I could have done, honestly. I definitely need to get a little bit more practice, but this is just kind of the gist of you know what to do to get those 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 swoops and them swirls a little i'd also suggest when you're doing your um, dramatic baby hairs as you're making those swoops try to try to bring some of that edge control back onto your hair um i hope that makes sense so don't only focus on the hair that you've brushed out to do your baby hairs like make sure that the other hair is also pretty smoothed out so that it can look really it can just look consistent when you take your hair down from letting it set. So here we go. I have my little scarf here. It's a pretty thin scarf um, that I use to tie my edges down. I don't really like to use like silk scarves. I think cotton scarves um, just kind of do the job. Um, it just really sets my hair nicely. So yes, I'm tying my hair down. I let it sit for about two hours just because I had somewhere to go. But if you can let it sit for longer, why not? And yeah. Yeah, you see the vibes. That little piece in the middle, y'all, I ain't even gonna cap. It was kind of frustrating me. Like, I don't know why I was doing that, but you see it. Like, you see how there's some waves there? That's because I let the edge control go back. So definitely get your edge control on your hairline as well. <laughs> All right, y'all, and that is that. I hope y'all had as much fun watching this as I did making it. As you can see, I was really enjoying myself. So <laughs> if you like this video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up and comment down below what you loved about it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Mwah.